Masters and welcome guests. My name is Valerie Mecca and my story is on telling a folk tale. The folk tale that I'm going to tell is regarding Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time there was a young girl and her grandmother loved her so much. Her grandmother adored this girl but not only did her grandmother adore this girl, the town adored her as well. Because this girl hold a very special place in the grandmother's heart, she gave her granddaughter this beautiful velvet red cloak with a beautiful satin hood. It was stunning. The little girl was so taken back by this beautiful cloak that the grandmother, who she loved with all her heart, gave to her. She put the red cloak on, she put the hood on, and she danced around the floor. Her grandmother said, oh, you look so beautiful. I'm gonna start calling you Little Red Riding Hood. And the name stuck. One day, Little Red Riding Hood was standing in the kitchen with her mother. And her mother said, Little Red Riding Hood, would you be able to bring this basket of delicious food that I made for grandma to grandmother's house because she is feeling ill and you need to bring this basket to grandma's quickly while it's still hot so that this way she can eat it and not have to heat it. Little Red Riding Hood was so thrilled that one, she was gonna visit her grandmother Two, she was going to be able to bring this basket of delicious, deliciously baked goods that just was a fragrant aroma and even made her stomach growl. Red Riding Hood took her red cloak, put the hood on, and went skipping down the road. Her grandma lived in the woods and Little Red Riding Hood needed to go on this path. As she was on this path, it was a beautiful day. The wind was exceptionally warm, but that didn't affect Little Red Riding Hood. She still was gonna wear her cloak with her hood. And as she's skipping and singing a song that her grandmother used to sing to her, she noticed someone coming up alongside her. To her surprise, it was someone that she did not know. It was the wolf. And he said, where are you going, little girl? And she said, I'm off to my grandmother's house. And he said, what do you have in the basket? And she said, I have delicious baked goods that my mom made, and I need to get these to my grandmother's house. She lives in the woods, and I need to get her the food while it's still hot. The wolf started asking her questions. Well, where does your grandmother live? Are you gonna be the only one there with your grandmother? And as Little Red Riding Hood answered his questions, including the location of the grandmother's home, he decided to distract her. And he said to her, look at the beautiful uh, butterflies flying in the air. Look at the beautiful birds. Look at that tree where, where there's bees flying around. He caused her attention to be focused not on going straight to grandmother's house, but distracting her. And here was the last distraction. He said, Psst, Little Red Riding Hood, look at those flowers. I bet your grandmother would feel a whole lot better if you pick those flowers for her. They smell pretty and they look pretty and they live a really long time when you put them in water. So why don't you go and pick them for her? Little Red Riding Hood was so thrilled that this wolf realized how much she loved her grandmother and how much her heart wanted her grandmother to get better. As Little Red Riding Hood bent down to pick up the flowers and pick them for her grandmother, the wolf sped, on, sped along to grandmother's house because he had all the details. As he approaches grandmother's house, he knocks on the door and grandma says, Little Red Riding Hood, is that you? Your mom just called and told me that you were on your way. The wolf disguised his voice and said, Oh yes, Grandma, it's me. 
Can you let me in? My mom baked delicious hot food for you. As it turned out, the wolf got into grandma's house because the door was unlocked. Grandma was fixing stuff by the cupboard. The wolf went and pushed grandma into the cupboard and locked her. He went in her room and was dressed in grandma's pajamas with her cap and drew the blinds. Now, a few minutes later, Little Red Riding Hood comes to the door, the door's open and she says, oh my, this is so unlike grandma, but I know that she doesn't feel well. She enters the house, goes into grandma's bedroom and says, grandma, I have this basket for you. And the wolf says, I can't hear you. Can you come a little closer? As Little Red Riding Hood got closer to grandma, she realized, wow, what big eyes you have to the wolf. And the wolf said, better to see you with Little Red Riding Hood. And then she noticed the wolf's ears and she said, my, what, what big ears you have, grandma. And she said, better to hear you with. And all of a sudden, Little Red Riding Hood noticed the teeth and she said, what big teeth you have? And, and the wolf said, better to bite you with. So he jumped out of the bed and um, Little Red Riding Hood screamed and ran out of the room. As she was screaming after the wolf got a hold of her, the woodsman heard and came in. The door was still open. At that point, they wrestled the, the wolf to the ground. They unlocked grandma out of the pantry and everyone lived happily ever after and have never seen the wolf ever since. As an added bonus, I wrote a rhyme or a rap. And feel free if you want to clap or hit the table, however you want. Red, red, what do you say? Walking along in the woods today. So little girl, what would it be? You shared your secrets with a stranger like me. Your mama didn't tell you the story about the big bad wolf, cause if she did, you'd be out of hair in smoke and a hook. The moral of the story, can't you see? Beware of the big bad wolf like me. Although a happy ending, the story is true. Don't befriend a big bad wolf is the golden rule. Mr. Toastmaster. Hey.